Hey there, this is Tony Pavlovich. I'm a teacher in San Diego County, and I own a small publishing company called Instructomania. This is the third of a series of instructional videos. This one is about how to create an assignment in Google Classroom, and how to make copies for each student, and how to assign content to multiple classes. Okay, I've just logged into my Google account. I'm going to show you where the curriculum is that we saved from the last tutorial. Under Medieval Europe, we made a folder, and then there's an Intro Activity folder, along with all of the content that this is the Instructor Mania content links. I'm going to open up the folder and look at the assignment that I want to assign. I can see a blue sticker here, which is for student directions, and there's a yellow sticker here, which is for teachers. If at this point you would, you've already read it and you want to get rid of it, this would be the perfect time to do that. Once I've previewed the assignment, it looks good to go. I can go ahead and go to my classroom and make an, an assignment. I want to choose one of my world history classes, because this is where I'm going to push down the content. And I'm going to go to Feudal Europe, which is one of my topic areas. And I have several options. I can create an assign announcement, which is typically just informational, something I want the students to know, or perhaps just a link that they're not going to turn in or just look at. I can create an assignment, create a question that they answer, or reuse a post. So this time I'm going to create an assignment. And this is how you assign it to multiple classes. I want my fourth period and my sixth period world history classes to be assigned this assignment. Now I'm going to create a title and instructions. And I want to navigate down to a due date. Sometimes I use a due date, sometimes I don't. This one I'm going to make on the 13th. I can put a time if I'd like. Make sure that the topic is correct. If it's not, you can always just move it. And then I have to attach the assignment. Usually I use recent because it's something that I've, I've looked at most recently. Um, but you can also go into your drive. And there my Feudal Europe content area is. And interactivity. And I'm going to add it. Now I have several options. I can just allow the students to view the file. Uh, I can allow them to edit it, which is something that would be more collaborative. Say there's a Google slideshow and each of them gets a slide to create an informational piece on to share with the class. That's more collaborative. Or you do it so that, that each student gets a, makes, uh, gets a copy of the assignment uh, in their Google Drive. This is fantastic. They can't lose it. It's assigned to each of them and they can render the file however they'd like and it won't change your original. Okay, now that I've, I have everything here, which means I've done two classes, I have a title and instructions, a due date, the topic is correct, and the assignment is there, and I've made a copy for each student, I can choose to assign it, I can save it as a draft, or I could schedule it for further use. I usually do the schedule if it's like a test or something, something that I want them to, to get the day of or the period of. And I select assign. Okay, so now you can see that there's an assignment within the Feudal Europe in intro investigation, and I've made a copy for each student. One more thing I'm going to show you. Something great about Google Classroom is you can put multiple content pieces within a post. For example, on this particular exa in this example, I have a slideshow and a closed note fill in the blanks sheet that the students filled out when I actually posted the slideshow. That way, absent students have everything they need in one post. They don't have to go searching around. I find it to be much more convenient. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how to make an assignment within Google Classroom.